Well, as we end Mental Health Awareness Month, one passionate 13-year-old is using self-expression to confront social issues and wants to also give people the room to do the same. Our Lakita Johnson has more on the story. Each song has a different feel, but one in particular is just indescribable. Meet 13-year-old Kate Robinson. That one song stands out of the crowd and never gets old. She's a self-published author who has found her voice through writing poetry. And with all that's happening in the world within the recent years, she's found the need to express what's on her mind even more. In restaurants, I'll write them on the napkin or at school, I'll write them in on a post-it note and stuff them in my backpack. But I feel like people need to talk about these things more often and normalize them. Her book of 100 poems confronts a number of topics that she feels should remain at the forefront of conversation, like girls and women's rights, dealing with anxiety and depression, and school shootings. Kate says because the issues are so heavy, it's made her want to remind people that it is okay to be human and give grace where it's needed. I know a lot of us lost like who we thought we were, and then after, when we were going back into the world, kind of, we had to come back and try to find ourselves again. As I get further into the deep blue ocean, closer to my answers, the water gets darker and deeper. This freedom of self-expression has a lot to do with open conversations she has with her family and with both parents working in the medical field during the pandemic. Like many of us, Kate had no choice but to process her emotions the way she knew how to. Dad Giles Robinson says transparency is always the priority and is what helps them remain close. We always wanted to let the kids know that there's nothing off limits. Um, and really there's nothing too concerning to, to talk about. In Memphis, I'm Lakita Johnson.